for joining me welcome to my messy desk <laughs> i am currently in the middle of creating lots of ephemera to make kind of an eclectic vintage journal so i'm going to have lots of vintage photos and lots of vintage letters and ephemera and things um, but in between i also want some things to bring pops of color um, so what I'm going to do is with you now, I'm just going to do some quick pieces of ephemera. But I'm going to use these lovely little beasties, these um, butterfly children, I call them. And these were a um, free printable over on my Facebook group this week, depending on which day you see in this video, because they're not necessarily going out in order. So this was my Friday free bit. It was actually released on Saturday because it was a deal late. Um, and so if you'd like to grab these for free to make which is part of this project It's not the whole project then the link to the groups in the description box below and you can grab yourself these cuties so what I'm also using is my um, Journaling essentials ephemera mega bundle and my journaling basics pages bundle So I've got these really large tags now if you don't have my kit or you don't want to buy it you need to create yourself a tag. So this is quite large and it measures um, eight and one eighth by three and a half. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I've done four. Although I don't know if we're going to do four today. I think we might just do three. One, two, three. Because I've done some little fabric ruffles and I've only made three. So what we're going to do with these, first of all, straight away is chop it to make it smaller. So it's three and a half, so it will fit in a tall skinny journal, but it's too long. So to make sure it'd fit in any journal, we're gonna cut it off just around where uh, the, perfor the you know the perforations are, kind of. I'm gonna go just above it, okay? So that's that one. I'll do, I'll do all three. Um, I like to batch make. Now, if you batch make things, Obviously, you know what batch making means. It means doing the same thing in order. And by doing that, that apparently, according to time management experts, <laughs> you're more productive because you're focusing on one thing instead of jumping from one to another to another. And I say it a lot. I don't know if I say it a lot in my videos, but I say it a lot in my um, group. So what we're going to do is we've chopped everything. We're going to ink everything. And then we're going to assemble everything. So some things I have done um, before the video. I've done some fabric ruffles. And to make those, I've just got some see, um, sari silk here. And then I stretch it the full width. And then I just do a running stitch. Then pull the running stitch tight so you've got a ruffle. Okay? It's not a true ruffle like in the sense of how you do it on a sewing machine it's more just like a gathered piece of fabric so this is the result of that and then what i've done is i've done three of these and on the end of each i've sewn a little mother of pearl button i've done it in black fabric uh, black thread and it's very tatty and very rustic looking um i'm not the best sewer i'm not the neatest but i think when you're doing um journal a journal, can't even speak. A vintage style journal, doing things a little bit rough and redder, just adds to it. Okay, it just it just does. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Just do it. Honestly, it works. Now, another way that you can add even more fun to these is obviously. Um, to sew all the components on your sewing machine in black thread as well okay i'm a little bit of a lazy crafter and i've got white thread in my sewing machine so the reason i'm not sewing these is because i'm too lazy to switch it to black <laughs> my eyes are a little bit rubbish and it i need one of those like automatic needle threaders it it's more the fact that it takes me forever to thread re-thread the needle than anything else in honesty because it's not difficult I'm just being a bit lazy, okay? So I'm using vintage photo here. Um, I have recently started using, um, is it ground espresso? Yeah, in the oxide uh, distress ink. And I'm really loving that, but I don't want it that dark today. So let's just, and then I'm gonna pick my 
my I've called them butterfly children because you know the children and the butterflies nothing complicated <laughs> so I'm just going to pick one two I've already done that one which is the one I've already done right so I'll do these two little boys And I'll do this tiny little girl here. Okay, so they're inked. So that's some inking done. Do I need to ink anything else? No, don't think so. So that's, uh, you know, that's that bit done. So then we're going to start and layer up the tags. So let's get these bits out of the way. So what I'm also going to do is, to make my life easier, I'm going to put all of the large bits together. I'm going to find the centre. I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm going to find the centre, she says. Right, so it's from there to there, excluding the angled bit, it's three. So if I go to one and a half, it's about there. Okay. And if I put them all together, because they're all roughly the same size, and grab my hole punch or clopper dial. If you don't have one of these, just a normal office hole punch will do. Okay, I'm not setting eyelets in these. You don't have to put eyelets in everything, okay? You don't have to. There's no law. Right, so now we're going to attach the bottom. So if you're in my Facebook group, you'll have seen me do one of these. I did a quick video with no talking. And that's because I had um, people in the house at the time and I, I don't know why I feel embarrassed when I'm talking uh, doing my videos if there's somebody at home so <laughs> I did a silent mover uh, and just posted it in my group but here's a bit more of an in-depth and me explaining as we go so I'm just it's not a true pocket because there's no flaps so this is a tuck okay not a pocket it's a tuck spot because we'll only be able to tuck things but you'll still be able to get quite a few things and the trick is to go very very close to the edge with your glue and try not to put too much just a thin bead so that it doesn't spread out and then take up space that you can use going inwards to put things in okay so there we go that's two we'll just do three i think and I'll do the next, the last one off camera. So I like to have, when I'm doing my journals, I like to do quite a few things the same and then stagger them through the journal because then what it does is it's giving you consistency, you know, like a pattern on something or a pattern. You know, when you, you, you're seeing repeat things that go, you know, they go together and it just, it helps you add cohesion and especially because my pages in this journal are going to be a lot of like large letters and just pages um so the embellishments are really going to be necessary to give it a lift i know what i'm on about right so let me just check that i'm in shot if i stand this little mat then i know i'm in shot <laughs> may as well be crafting on a thimble this mat's ridiculously small Right, so now I've got my little ruffles. Like I say, it's sari silk that I've ripped up, running thread, a uh, running stitch, pull it to make a ruffle, sew a little button. So we're going to glue these sort of round about the bottom. Okay. Just check them in shut. All right. Plenty on because it'll soak into the fabric, you see. And you want that fabric to be on there nice and firmly because we're going to add layers. Okay. So put it on and press. Might just need to wait for that. My glue takes a little bit longer to dry than, for example, Fabri-Tac. But it's just as good. <laughs> okay. And then we've got one here, so I'm just having it. It doesn't matter what it looks like, I'll just stick it on. As long as they, I can see the button, okay? Because I don't have many of them mother of pearl buttons. I think my friend gave them me. 
I think, I think Karen gave me these. I'm not sure what um, I need to get online on one of the Chinese sites and see if Chinese selling sites and see if they have them and get myself a batch of them because they're quite expensive on Amazon are uh, Mother of Pearl buttons. For cra I think, you know, for crafting they are. If I were going to sew them on a nice garment, then you wouldn't mind paying it. But but then again, I am renowned for being a little bit cautious with money, shall we say. <laughs> right, so. That's that bit. Just need a bit more glue on this one, I think, to help anchor this one down of course you can omit the glue and just sew the fabric straight onto the tag but you'd have to sew it onto the pocket before you glue it onto the tag don't go glue sewing straight across or you'll have no tuck space okay and this glue will dry clear when i've done so if you can see it don't worry it will all dry clear all right right so then i'm going to get one of my butterfly children and we're going to glue those and it's just going to glue right over the top of the ruffle and hopefully I'll be able to anchor down to the card stock either side and at the bottom. Okay, I've just moved that ruffle up a bit so that I've got a bit of card stock at the bottom. Okay, I've gone a bit heavy handed with the glue there but not to worry. All right. And if I feel like it's, you know, too bulky, I, what I'll do is I'll just go back in with some more glue and then set a book on top of it to weigh it down for 10 minutes and it'll flatten it all nicely. Okay, it's not a problem. Right. I'm just getting a bit gluey on my fingers here. Okay. So that's one. Let's use my... There we go. Try and anchor him down. As I say, I can always go back in with some more glue or if I feel it needs a bit of help because it's fabric, I can always put a few little dots of um, hot glue at the back there. But I just wanted a really rustic kind of ruffle look. And then we'll put one here. Just checking that I'm in shot. And we'll put her there. Press her down. Let's just put some glue under her head to anchor her head to there. And as always, I've put far too much glue on. I always do. Always put too much glue on everything. Okay. Come on. Sometimes when you put too much glue, then it doesn't stick straight away because obviously you've got too much wet. So then you have to wait longer for it to kind of take. Okay. Come on, stick your feet on there and stop being a naughty butterfly child. Right. She don't want to stay on. Come on, don't be naughty. Time for it. <laughs> It will stick eventually. Oh, dear me. Just need to wait for that glue to dry. Okay. I'll go back in and uh, add a little bit here and there after the video. Okay, and let's do this chap here. He's a little bit bigger, so we'll be able to stick him a bit more to the card. Like so. I want him straight. We don't want you wonky. Don't want it on an angle. Okay. There we go. That one's sticking down much better than this one. I think we've got quite a bit of bulk with that fabric ruffle, but I'm not worried. As long as it's attached to the ruffle, it doesn't matter if there's a bit of dimension. In fact, all the better. All the better. Okay. Trying not to get glue on my Laura Ashley wallpaper here. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. I think I think she's going to need a little bit of help. 
and so I'm just going to put a clip there okay just to help her and one on here to help him as well just to help him dry and once he's firmly on that ruffle it'll be fine it won't fall off it won't fall off right so get off so then because we're batch making and we're going to make them all very similar to save our save time and give ourselves a bit of a break now we're going to add some words so i've pre-stamped these so i've used the tim holtz field notes stamp set and i have stamped these on scrap copy coffee dyed paper so when i print on the back of my digitals often i'll print coffee dyed and then when you cut them out you've got scraps i always save those for stamping they make fantastic labels okay if you follow me you'll have seen them on my instagram or my facebook reels one or the other so um i quite like them with the bit of red because i think it marries in with the red numbers on the on the tags so we'll have those and then instead of sentiments i'm not big on sentiments in my journal i don't know why um i find i just find it all a little bit flowery and a little bit i don't know it's just not for me so i'd rather have like words and numbers and tags rather than sentiments i think for, for me personally sentiments are for cards um but that's just my that's just my personal preference that doesn't mean that uh, there's a right or a wrong right so i'm just going to quickly ink them so as you'll see i do everything factory style <laughs> i can't think of the you know like a production line right so these just slide nicely just behind the wings there but make sure we can still see the little red number and this one i might do it straight i'm just gonna lift her head up what i can't but i can't get it back up now it wouldn't at first it wouldn't dry and now i can't get it back up so it's gonna have to go that way okay and then this one much the same and i'll just see if i can lift his wing up but i can't get can't get it up now there we go i'm just going to put it in a slightly different position just down there so it's the same things but just slight differences very very slight differences right get off so i'm gonna put this one here i think and then this little one can go here and this little one can go here right so let's have a look <clears throat> should be dry now get that off his foot yeah so again, I stamped these on scraps of coffee dyed paper and then I backed them on black cardstock because I just think it makes them stand out nicer. Yeah, I'm just going to stick that one there, just near that button. Okay. And then this one here. Take that off of a foot. There we go. Try not to add too much glue, Amanda. Okay. And again, I'm just going to sneak it in there so it's nestled in. Cute. Where's my other number? Oh, it's there. And this one here. And where's this going to go? Just going to nestle it just a little bit further on this one because my ruffle's a little bit bigger but i don't I, yeah i like it like that right so there we've got a little bit of dimension as well that you can see and we've got some nice layers so we've got as interest we've got as layers so now we want something to tie it with at the top so i've got some sari silk which to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of, but, you know, I bought it, so I'm going to use it. Tie that around the top. I think it's just my sari silk, what I, and the, the, the place where I sourced it from has over-processed it. 
so it's just a little bit mm, i've been and ordered some silks i like i like good old silk but silk seam binding and i found somewhere in the uk that sells it that's not a ridiculous price so i've got a big heap of that on the way so i'll be back to using that um so let's just grab another section and then i'm going to have to so mine opens out quite wide so just snip it there and rip okay we'll do exactly the same and then what i have done on my sample one i'll just show you the first one that i did i've added a little charm with a bulb pin now i'm going to if i'm going to add these to all of them i'm going to do it at a later stage when my journal's done because i might not just put num you know these letters on i might make some little other alternative things but this is what we're going for <clears throat> and then i can put one in each signature so i tend to do batches of four or batches of six you know because i either do two or three signatures I think I'm going to do three on this one. I think this I think this journal is going to be a big one. I think I'm going to make a big chunky monkey, but we'll see. I've got the attention span of a goldfish, so after two signatures, normally I'm done. I've had enough. I want to move on to another project. <laughs> Where's that other piece of sour silk gone now? I ripped it in half, didn't I? Is that it? Right, we'll, we'll, we'll use this. So yeah, if you're not a member of the Facebook group, you are missing out because I do add new free freebies every single, well, not every, 99.9% .9 it's on a Friday, but every week, um, unless something major crops up and I'm really busy, 99.9% um, .9 of the time you get a freebie on a Friday. This week they got it on Saturday because I was just a day late. I'm struggling with my eyes at the moment and so I just needed a rest from the computer from making digitals um, so they got it a day late <laughs> but they don't mind they let me off right so now we can fill our tuck, tuck spots with ephemera now um, you know have a look what you've got in your stash if you don't have loads of ephemera I can highly recommend <laughs> Um, if you go to my Kofi, the link is in the description box below. I've got a French ephemera bundle with all French things. I've got a um, journaling um, ephemera mega bundle with loads of photos like this and tags and postcards. I think there's 33 pages or 30 pages with heaps. And these are all original, these ones. Um, so they're all original to me. And then I've got the page basics where there's loads of journaling pages and loads of letters and things like that. So <clears throat> you could get yourself a huge heap of ephemera for a very, very low cost. Right, so let's have a look what we're going to have. I think I'm going to have that. Will this fit? Mm. Depending on how, how I've glued that pocket, this might not fit. Because like I say, they, they're not true pockets, they're tuck spots. I don't really want to cut that. So let's see if we can find something a little bit small. I'll use this later. I don't really want to be cutting up the postcards because I can save those for something else. So I'll use some of my smaller ephemera. Right, so that lady will fit in nicely. What else can we put in with her? Uh, these little cabinet cards make nice, interesting little things to slip into pockets. So these are... I shared some of my original cabinet cards. In fact, they're here. These are the real ones. Let me show you. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. That one's really pretty. Which one is it? That one, it's got like a gold edge. Um, so then I also printed the back of them. Shared the back of them. Um, and they just make interesting little things to insert in your pockets and whatever have you okay. 
pop that at the back there. And then just have to keep checking that my phone's still filming. I'm not still not used to this filming on my phone business. It disturbs me. <laughs> I don't know why. Because I'm used to filming on my camera and, and I knew I could rely on my camera because I'd been using it for 10 years. Um, little blue ticket there. So there's one. Done. And then you just need to stuff the others, as it were. <laughs> so let's find some more things to stuff in here. So let's have a look. So all this tag... This tag, I'll put that in there actually. Little tag. Here's some more cabinet cards. Will that fit in there? That might fit in there. This one might be too big, we'll see. Oh, yep, that fits nicely. And then what else? We're going to have another one of these. Because I like these cabinet card backs. And then obviously, you know, they're interesting things to look at. But, you know, you can write on the back of them as well. We like interesting things to look at in our journals. <laughs> what else can I put in there? What else have I got? What else have I got? Let's have a look. I'm trying to just use what's on my desk rather than go hunting for extra stuff. I don't want that fragile. Don't want that. What's here? I mean, you can even put a spare one of those in. But I want to use that, so I'm not using that. I want to use that for something else. Uh, what else have I got? Let's have a look. I've got so much stuff I don't know what to use. I quite like this one. So the good thing about digital ephemera is, you know, I mean, I only charge what I charge for my kits. They're very low priced. You can print them out as many times as you want. You don't have to worry about, you know, I mean, if I were using these, once I'd used them, they're done, aren't they? They're gone. I have not got another that's an original and it's a one of a kind. Whereas these, you could print them out and print them out and print them out all day long. And you don't have to worry about using them up. You don't need to stress yourself. You can use as many as you want. Stuff the pocket with as many photographs as you like. There's no no limit, is there? What else have I got here? Loads and loads of photographs. All from my ephemera. Oh, there's a postcard there. Will that fit? Oh, it will. We'll have this postcard. There's loads of postcards in the kits as well, so that you've got plenty to play with right i like that let's move some of this ephemera out of the way i've got that much of it now i can't move <laughs> so there we go we've got uh in next to no time with the right you know supplies and uh whatever have you then you can uh, put these together in next to no time i'll just need to make sure that these butterfly children are dead they are they're down firmly now they've dried beautifully um, so there you go, one, two, three, and obviously you could add some little tabs to the pocket there. You can add your little paper clip dangles if you like. That looks nice, that pocket looks a bit bare, we need something else in there. What should we have? Will that fit? I think that's going to be too big. Need something else. Oh, there's a, little there's a little postcard there. I like to have three things in, I don't know why. I like to have three things in my pockets. Don't really want that. And then, of course, you can add even more interesting things like um, little clocks. So some of these in the kit. Could slip a little clock in there. Like that. That's interesting. Uh, what else have I got? I've got book stacks. Stacks of, you know, books. Um, you could have one of those in there, behind like that. That looks cute. So there you go. So there's some ideas for you of how to use the ephemera kits that I've been putting out. And also, if you're in my group and you've got the little butterfly children, there's a lovely idea for you. So I hope you can get some inspiration from that. Go and make some lovely tags and stuff the pockets full of digital ephemera.
because you can use them willy-nilly. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.